Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. In the la this is episode 32 of uh, the, uh, Bloodborne. We just finished off the Witches of Hemwick. The, they, the Witches were actually the small ones that up, appear once in a while. So we've uh, disposed of them and so we're going down to the next level. Hopefully this will open into another area. Huh. Okay, oh, okay. What is this guy? Search body. Oh, rune workshop tool. Remember I was saying that we need to... Uh, that the carol runes, uh, we couldn't make use of them. Now we finally have the workshop rune. Okay, let's go back to town uh, and see what we can do with the runes. Uh, let's do a quick check on what runes we have in the inventory. Okay, these are the runes. Communion means maximum vials that we hold, meaning the blood vials will be plus one. Air will give us more blood echoes from virtual attacks or vertical attacks. And lake... Physical re damage reduction by 3%. Oh, that one we can use. And a moon is more blood echoes from slain enemies. Oh, yes, yes, we want this. So let's go back to town. And uh, and go to the altar that uh, we have not ever used, right? Because we have been only using the repair bench. And then the other one which we rarely used was the inventory. Remember, this is the inventory, so if you come up here and press X and then uh, left and right trigger allows us to... So this is the storage area and uh, left and right trigger will allow us... Now this is... The left side is our backpack. So we can have a maximum of 5, 20, 20 blood vials on our blood pack. Oh, on our backpack, sorry. <laughs> So in our storage area, we have 572 blood vials out of a potential of 600. Uh, Quicksilver bullets were maxed out. Uh, antidote, we we have a long way to go. So Molotov, Molotov cocktail, we have 24 in uh, in storage. Poison knife, this is this one is one of the most uh, one of the not. Mm, Oh, oh, often overlooked uh, weapons. So especially if uh, people are in a, we can put them in a stationary or we, let's say, because in this game, there are very few range attacks for us, right? The pistol barely does any damage. It's primarily just to uh, stun them so that we can do the visceral attack. So the only thing here is range other range weapon that we have here is the knife and the poison knife the knife and the pebble are primarily just to draw uh draw uh the monster's attention to us so using the d-pad left and right we can go through the different so these are the bloodstone shards that we have collected uh we don't have anything of this vile blood right hand weapon so we we have not really discovered a lot of stuff so we have only one chalice right yeah chalice yes okay uh so let's go so this is a storage area and we rarely use that one because uh like the blood vials and the silver bullets every time we come here to hunter's dream they all fully automatically uh, fill it up for us. So that's actually a very good uh, design aspect of this game. Uh, so this is the memory altar. This is where the, we can memorize Carol runes to acquire the Eldritch. So we can, like Moon, Communion is so we can have one more vial. So we can put three of them, three of the runes that we have acquired. Because we got three spaces. 
more blood echoes from I think the visceral attacks I, I would presume so right and then lake physical reduction reduced by three percent and more echoes from slain enemies okay let's put the moon in and then d-pad moves to the next one and we can install physical damage less and then the third one we can put for visceral attacks yes okay wow uh, this is this is excellent now we got mo get more blood echoes and uh at the same time we uh what do you call this uh we get more blood echoes and we suffer three percent less physical damage okay so uh this is the so we have been to the witch's abode and then the Hemwick Char Charnel Lane. So I don't think we can go further in that area. We'll have to go back to the to the cathedral ward, uh, and then from there, uh, remember when we went up to the Grand Cathedral, we went left. That was to open the the uh, the the second the. The second altar and so we have not gone right so i am reluctant to go right because simply because uh there are two hunters in that area and uh those hunters like you know they're like semi bosses and they're very fast uh, so well now we have no choice <laughs> so we have to go uh to the left side of those uh left side of those of the main cathedral cathedral okay no after we killed off vicar amelia remember the giant that used to be walking around so apparently see, this guy seems to have been saddened saddened by the death of vicar amelia see, uh, they're now easy kills because, well, they're not, they're not walking around. They're not roaming. And uh, so, <laughs> in a way, I feel kind of sad because apparently my interpretation is they appear sad after the death of Vicar Amelia. And she died by our hands. But she was turning into a... A monster so she had to go in fact this whole town will be turning into monsters so there's there's no help for it Ow. and when we killed uh, Vicar Amelia she dropped an amulet so in the so what I have what I did not show was that we should have gone we could have gone to the inventory portion and go all the way down and it will after the blood cold blood echoes it will show uh vicar amelia's uh necklace or 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 artifact or and then we can just put it or ready it in our ready belt and then when we use it it becomes a blood gemstones that we can actually uh, infuse into our weapon. I have done that, so uh, I did not show that. I did it off screen, but that was just to let you know. And so is it the same with with the uh, with Father Gascoigne? Remember when we uh, when we killed Father Gascoigne in the rooftop? We came across the little girl's uh, the big blood uh, red uh, what do you call this uh, amulet that the girl's mother was supposed to be wearing and so the same that amulet we can either give it to the little girl back where by the window or we can use it as i described using vicar amelia's talisman and when we use it it also gives us a blood blood gem stone which we can use to uh infused into our weapons uh, they have different characteristics 
so it's they they don't contribute much but they still add a little bit so it's a choice you want to make uh, do you want to use them or not now in terms of the little girl brooch uh, if we use them then we cannot give it to her right uh, if you give it to her uh, I think she will leave her shelter and then uh, she will uh, and then either she... I'm not very sure. I never tried it. Giving it to her. But apparently she will leave her shelter. And then uh, she will become lost. I mean, uh, you will just find her corpse. We won't meet her. Except maybe we'll come across her corpse. And that is very sad. So that's why... At least we... You know, at least... Uh, it's not another person we have to kill because this uh, game is all mostly killing everything right uh this game yeah involves killing almost everything there's uh uh yeah so this is a pretty uh, kind of dark game in that regard oh what are those things? I don't like those things. What are those things? So we came through the church part earlier. Turned out it wasn't a good way to come uh, out because... Uh, remember... Uh, those monsters can now hit us while we cannot while we cannot hit them and i don't like so this might be a little slower process but at least uh it's not it doesn't work again How we didn't do a visceral attack then? Okay, yeah, because we want to get more. Well, we want to get more blood necklace from visceral attack. Remember what the <laughs> the uh, the rune we're wearing? Yeah. So it would be nice to uh, practice visceral attacks now. Oop. I forgot this guy completely. <laughs> See, this axe has a stagger factor. It's a very high stagger factor. So, uh, I th I think this would still be my second best weapon, if not the best. Now here is, yeah, we're going right here. Initially we went left and that was went to Charnel, Charnel Lane. And so not, you know, with even the name Charnel Lane, <laughs> it, it's pretty awful sounding name. Okay, here we will be going up against a, uh, a hunter. And this hunter is very, very fast. I don't know if we can make it. So, oh, he is, he is holding a Tony Truss. Remember, we picked up something similar to that in the Gaol. Uh, let me show you. Uh, this is the Tony Truss. So, uh, let me demonstrate what it looks like. So, this is. See, this is the maze we picked up in the Gaol where when we were transported by the sack person or the sack mon monster, sorry, excuse me. And uh, when we do the 
the extended version normally when we click on the sh left shoulder button l l1 or l l1 or l2 the left shoulder button we normally uh, get an extended version right here it just it becomes an electric maze temporarily for about maybe five seconds so this is their this is the hard weapon meaning or this is the the tough uh, the tough version of this method or, or this weapon sorry what am i saying what am i talking about sword so the tough version is makes it into an electric weapon in other weapons it makes it into uh like the hammer the l the shoulder button makes it into an extended weapon so uh but for the tony truss the left button makes it into uh, acquire the uh, electrical damage so uh this is this a okay this is as fast as the uh as the ludwig's uh, holy blade except i've got ludwig's holy blade at plus six so let's work with ludwig's holy blade let's see if our holy blade uh how it matches up how it compares to the tony trust that this guy will be using now the well will be very important for us That guy joined. Huh. Like I said, uh, I don't like this. Not a good idea to fight two of them at the same time. Ouch. See if one of them will leave. Oh. using a spear weapon. a spear gun a spear rifle I mean hmm Spear rifle. Oh, he's trying to get away. Wow, what a blunder bus. Ow! Ah. Got him. Whoo! Oh. Well, at least that is one. That is one hunter down. Shall we take on the other hunter? Huh. Okay, we can take on the other hunter. But uh, I think I will keep that to the next episode. I will cut the episode here. Uh, I think it's getting too long because if I if we go into the next fight instead of 
if we include the next fight in this episode, it will be it will this episode will get too long. So let me cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you will join me in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.